some of this is difficult. Let me skip some lines. وَمَسْحَ يَدِ الرَّحْمَانِ ظَهْرَ صَفِيِّهِ فَأَخْرَجَهُمْ كَذُرِّ يَوْمَ الشَّهَادَةِ Here he talks about the beginning of the human experience. He says, And the hand of the Rahman touched the back of his chosen one, the Safi, who is Adam, alayhi salam, and brought them out. كَذُرْ Like seeds on the day of الشَّهَادَةِ Ashhadahum ala and him. This is in the Quran we had this yesterday, where he says, Alas to be Rabbikum, am I not your Lord? Wa Ashhadahum. Well kullu minhum muwahidun Hudaka wa ba'adal amri nafin wa muthbiti. And he made them bear witness, all of us. And every one of them was muwahid, affirmed tawheed. How could they have done otherwise when they were in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And then after that, some continued with it and some denied it. وَالسِّرًّا خَفِيًّا حَارَ فِيهِ أُولُ النُّهَا عَلَى صُورَةٍ لِلصُورَةِ الْآدَمِيَّةِ Here he talks about the theomorphic quality of Adam, the human capacity to be in the image of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says there is a secret mystery in which the most intelligent people have been baffled concerning the resemblance of Adam's form. فَنَزِّحْ إِلَاهَ الْعَالَمِينَ وَقَدِّسًا عَنِ الصُّورَةِ الْحِسِّيَّةِ الْبَشَرِيَّةِ so declare the Lord of the worlds high above, transcendent above, and too holy to resemble any physical human form. Allah has no dimension, He has no form, because those are properties of created beings. وَكُنْ فِي أَحَدِيثِ الصِّفَاتِ وَآيِهَا عَلَى مَذْهَبِ الْأَسْلَافِ حَيْثُ السَّلَامَةِ And plunge into the seas of this secret if you are a knower of it. In its shores that are made of pearls and of jewels. But be always concerning the hadiths that are about the divine attributes and these verses following the madhab of the aslaf, the salaf, because there is safety. <coughs>